boring story to basically build up to where we have to be. Yeah. Because technically, I would argue the kingdom didn't have to be anywhere. The, the, we didn't have to see any of the kingdom at all. The kingdom didn't come into play at all this season. At all. And at we all. didn't need it. Nothing. To... Morgan, could they at least show Morgan going back and forth between Alexandria and the kingdom? I, we don't even know why Morgan's even still really there. Yeah, they didn't have to spend a whole... They didn't have to spend episode two on the kingdom. No, but he does have an apprentice, so I guess maybe that's what it is. But, yeah. And, and Ezekiel likes him. Yeah, that kid's going to die. <laughs> uh, so... You know, it took a long time for us to watch this show. A Whoa. little over two months, right? No, two months, exactly. Yeah, man, you know, uh, I, but I for them seen... it was like two weeks, three weeks. Maybe. Four weeks. Well, eight weeks because it's four. Well, we had eight episodes yeah, in all? Yeah, well, two months. That's said two months. No, no, I'm agreeing but with you. I'm not them, disagreeing. Yeah, yeah. For the characters, it was what? Two, three weeks? Oh, I don't know. You're right. Yeah. It had, no, maybe even less than maybe even less than that. Maybe. I think even less than that. I think it was like a week. Right, it was a little over a week, but probably maybe not more than two weeks. Yeah, maybe. The other thing, too, um, we were saying before with Carol and uh, Morgan, I'm buying into that conversation a second time. Yeah. But we know what's going to get them to cross that line, obviously, when they find out what happened with everything. Cause yeah, because they don't know any of it. Nothing. They are so behind. Yeah. And they probably don't care much about Spencer and uh, Olivia, but Abraham and Glenn. Well, I think Carol will care about, about Olivia. Olivia made appearances with uh, Carol a couple of times, and, you know, I don't think they had a... Yeah, but if she gets all that information at once, I... I can't imagine that she even considers Olivia's name. Okay, along maybe with not. Glenn yeah, obviously, we're, 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 we're comparing, you know, we're comparing, like, you know, <laughs> we're like, one fruit like, with some other fruit that nobody likes. No, but like, more like a big, like, you know, a grape compared to an apple is what I'm saying. Like, one grape, where, you know, it's just, it's, okay. it's, it's like, you know, yeah, obviously, Olivia's character didn't have the biggest influence. We know, we know what she was there for, and it's, it's unfortunate. Yeah. Actually, you know what I did want to bring up? When I was talking about the talking, there was on the talking that it was uh, Daryl just uh, saying, well, Dar- well Norman was saying, like, you know, th- like, he probably, he was actually crying when he saw, Andrew Lincoln he calls him Andy because they're bros and they go like I was practically almost actually crying seeing him like you know at that last thing because you know we barely spent any time together this season so far oh boo hoo yeah and I'm like <laughs> what I don't understand is because remember a while ago you brought up the fact that you know there was it was revealed that you know like um uh Maggie Maggie the actress or oh, what's her what, I got it I forget, ah, forget. Lori Holden Oh. Not Lori Holden. That's the other one. Yeah, that's Andrew. We're just talking uh, about. Her she has someone's name that sounds like someone else's name. Either way, anyways, like remember we <laughs> we were talking remember. about the story when like you know when um, she was crying when when they were mentioning about like you know who dazzles and she just yeah. breaks into tears and she's standing next to, and she's sitting next to Stephen Yun. Yeah, and like you know, and you were saying this to yourself, like, you know, they're so attached to each other, so attached to each other, like all the characters, they're so close, which is natural, which is fine. But to a certain degrees, like it's really bringing up these emotions where like you're really invested so much into actually crying, actually like you know, you know, don't forget you are doing a show, yeah, you know, and it's where just, they read the script and they start crying, and they like uh, the script man. is not that powerful. But then, even, well, it's not that powerful. But then, like you know, even like uh, for like you know, Fat Joey to be of something, and apparently even uh, for Austin Nichols, who played Spencer. You know, like apparently he said Rick kind of gives a big yell when he when he kills him. It's like, oh, you know, like that's it wasn't in the final cut, but he, one of the takes that he does a big yell as if, as if it was emo- it was emotionally hard to do it. Okay, but in the final cut, obviously, he just like you know, as it goes, ah. and he just stabs yeah. him in the head <laughs> just to see like he, uh, what he thought of him. Yeah. But like you know, they could have they could have um, how do I say like focused on you know maybe how like you know it maybe takes a little bit out of him to actually kill Spencer because. It is a failed promise to Deanna, and now there's really nothing left. Yeah, they, they really at all. they went over that real too fast. Yeah, the Monroes are fast. basically they're swept under the rug. Yeah, all that's left are the uh, the gates, yeah. the fences. Did you know that Daryl actually they had to re- redo that shot where Daryl saw uh, Daryl uh, bludgeoned him. Fat Joey over the head? Oh yeah, cause... they had to redo it tons of times because Daryl kept crying every time because every time he killed really? Fat Joey. He just right, started, you, where did you read that? He, he just started sobbing talking, because he, he was so attached to Fat Joey. And you're making this up. Yeah, I'm making it up. But Daryl, how dare you? Daryl <laughs> cries at everything. Apparently, from what you're telling me. So. Yeah. Well, like, what, what, but the 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 overlying the overlying point I'm trying to make is that like this cast is so attached, like unnaturally attached to each other, to even to like the extras to a certain degree. Yeah. And it's like it's my God, like you know, it's is it's taking a toll on them. And I feel like they're all going insane because they're all. They're filming in really horrible conditions in Atlanta, in Georgia, and like it's. I feel like it takes an emotional toll on them, a physical toll and emotional toll. They just keep talking about how hot it is, and like it this. Oh my goodness, how hot it! They have air conditioning in Alexandria. No, they... <laughs> Negan said so. 
I don't think they actually have it. Those are actually sets that the, I'm pretty sure those are. Oh, no. They, they have, wouldn't they actually houses. have air conditioning? If they have a house, they're going to have No, air no, but when they're shooting outside, they don't have air conditioning. They have a trailer to go to. Yeah, but that's the thing. Like, people live there. Alexandria is a real. It's a real place. suburban. It's a real Re- suburban residential area. Yeah, right? they just they just gated a community. They just made a regular community, a gated community, and they started filming in there. So there are people there who live there because they want to. But they have to get out of the way <laughs> for days on end, months on end. Oh, there's like, end. they're shooting, there's like, yeah, they have to show their, their card when they drive in. It's gated now and they can't, you have know, to go around back or something. I don't know. Something. What. You can actually see it. You go on Google Maps. You can, I didn't. No, you know. okay. It's, but if you go on Google Maps, you can see the fences. Is it called Alexandria too in real life? No, but there is a real Morgan Street. Okay. And we've seen that before. So you see Morgan oh, that's, Street. That's obviously possible. I mean, yeah, but they just used it. You know, we, we saw that. I'm sure but, there's an Ezekiel Street too. Yeah, but it's neat. You can see all the solar panels that they put up and all the... Oh, okay. So, but all this to say, like people live there. It's not like the conditions are not... Uh, you're not out in the jungle of Vietnam no, you're not. But what, what in the shots they need to in, in during while they film the conditions they they have to film in are are harsh and they're getting paid and they're getting care. Oh, you're gonna care. bring that up? I mean, like Somebody I'm just saying, running... if someone pays me a lot of money, fine, I get. Yeah, I'm earned. I'm like you know, I've earned it. Fine, I get it. But like you're not gonna you're not gonna ignore the conditions that you're working in. It's 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 there. You know. Okay, these people have worked in far worse conditions. No, conditions... you're bringing up Bruce Campbell from The Evil Dead. Of not course, I agree with that. Not okay, no, I thought you were this... going there. I'm talking about condition like if they're working in a first of all you're working in a place where people live so the conditions can't be that bad not where the and sh- if they're that bad the first of all they're not that bad but the worst the thing is is if you are you feel a little too cold someone's going to run over and throw a blanket over you you feel too hot someone's going to come over and put a a black umbrella in your hand and spritz your face with a little a little bit of water and give you water. Yeah, they will. Those are like, off. Those are those are off takes, of. but not every time. They're not gonna you know they're not gonna do that all the time. They oh, have and then, long takes, yeah, and they have sometimes for you're minutes on end for the whole time. Minutes. I don't think so. You're gonna, for minutes on end. Oh, you're gonna have to work. Yeah, of course you're gonna have to work. <laughs> but apparently, <laughs> they're even seeing the concrete that Aaron like fell on when he was being beat up. Yeah. It was over 170 degrees. And it was just so hot while he was actually being, you know, pretending to, like, obviously on certain takes, he has to stay on the ground. And the concrete was super hot for him. Okay. Well, that is a, that's production failure. Yeah. Because they should have then you, Okay. But that. then Tara, well, Tara's uh, episode, her hiatus on Ocean yeah. View, you know, like, it was very hard to film in those conditions, especially, you know, she just had a baby. And people trolled on her weight because of it. You know, that's really, that's, that's yeah. ridiculous. Right, people well, like you, know, you trolled on her because he did not abide. Because I she did didn't not troll on her weight. I know weight. you did. I kidding. trolled on her because I don't like her character. That's true. Um, okay, this seems all like bigger picture stuff. So maybe we it should is. save this for next week. We can touch back on it. Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah, or, yeah. And I say next week. It might be two weeks from now. I think two weeks from now is a safer bet because I want to get a little bit of time between this season and our recap of the season. Uh, but and we also have some feedback, but I'm going to save it for when we do a recap because it's kind of bigger picture, yeah, stuff anyway. And for those who want to contribute to next week with more, we'll have more time for more feedback. So what stops you from yeah. giving us giving us more feedback? Nothing. You got two weeks to send your feedback into the casting dead at gmail dot com, and also head over to iTunes, leave us a rating, leave us a review. Yeah, that'd be awesome. And you yeah. know, it's a mid season, it's a mid season for us too. So. Yeah, off season time for Christmas and whatever holiday people celebrate. <laughs> you want to uh, comment to everything? Well, I don't know. It's true. <laughs> yeah, no, I get it. And and happy New Year and all that. But we'll say all that in our next show because we're going to be back before Christmas. We will. We will. All right. Yeah. So until then, I'm David, and I'm Matt. Bye. <laughs>